Hi, I'm Colin. Welcome to Learn Somatics. Today I want to show you a movement to release the entire back of the shoulder girdle and the back of the spine at the same time. Nice fun movements. Let's give it a try. So for this one, we're going to want to be on our front. So let's change position now. So this is our starting position. Hands either side of our head and head turned to one side. So we're going to begin the movements working with our arms. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide our arms and hands into an outstretched position along the floor and then begin to slide them back down. And bring your elbows down as far as you can comfortably and you'll start to feel some tension in your back when you do that. And then slowly slide your arms up along the floor again, reaching as far as you can up and out. But keep it all within your level of comfort. Slowly drawing the arms back down and then slowly reaching up and out with the arms. Let's do that a couple of times. And as you draw your elbows down, you might feel your back wants to arch. You kind of feel like you want to press your chest into the floor a little bit to help you bring your elbows down. You can do that. And then slowly relax that effort as you reach up and out with the arms. Draw the elbows down. Press your chest, not so much your chest actually, press your bottom of your ribs into the floor and that will allow you to bring your arms further down. And then relax that effort as you slide your arms up and out. So notice as you slide your arms down, if you press the front of the bottom of your ribs into the floor, it actually makes it a little easier to slide your elbows down further. And then as you reach up and out with the arms along the floor, Relax that effort of pressing the ribs into the floor and then slowly repeat. Press the front of your ribs and makes your mid back arch, which means you can get a little more draw down on your elbows. So we're just sliding the arms up and out and then sliding the arms down, the elbows down, a little bit of an arch in the middle back as we pull down. And as you're doing this movement, see if you can get a sense of your shoulder blades moving around on the back. And intentionally draw your shoulder blades down when you go this way. And intentionally kind of send them up and out when you reach up and out. Shoulder blades dictate uh, a lot of arm movement. The shoulder blades are free. The arms will also be free. Okay and come to rest. So that movement allows us to free up our arms a bit. Now we're going to free up the back a little bit. So from here just pick up the head and look straight forward. And you'll feel that engages your entire spine, the back of the spine. And then come on down and let your cheek rest on the floor. And we'll just repeat that a couple of times so we're clear. Picking up the head and chest, looking directly forward, feeling in the back of the spine. You'll even feel your, your bum probably tighten up a little bit in your legs. That's okay. You can add them in if you want. And then slowly come on down. We'll repeat one more time. Pick up the head, go straight ahead, engaging the back of the spine getting all those muscles in the back of the spine and then slowly coming on down to complete rest. Okay, so we've got two different movements there. Let's see what happens if we were to combine those two movements. So we're going to begin by sliding the arms up and out. Now we're going to slide our elbows under our shoulders as we lift our head. So we slide into like a fixed sphinx position. And then as we come down, we're going to slide our arms back out, rest on our cheek. So as we slide the elbows up and in, under our shoulders, we're sliding into a sphinx position. That's your visual. And then as we come down, we're going to slide the arms up and out. So take your time and just come to the degree you're comfortable. It doesn't matter if you can't get your elbows all the way under your shoulders. Just see if you can coordinate it and make it feel somewhat smooth. If you want to start with a small movement like just to here, that's totally fine. 
and then back out, or even smaller than that, it's still fine. But if you're able to get the shoulders or the elbows under your shoulders, so you're resting on your uh, arms, that's great. You have that get all into the back of your body, and then slide yourself out straight again. And let's do like two more. Slide into that space. You might feel some tension happening in your legs. That's okay. That happens because the backs of your legs want to get involved. They're all part of the extensors. Hip extensors. All right. Back in. Straight ahead. You can even turn. As you're coming down, if you want to turn your head to the other side, that's fine. I'm going to stay this side so I can see the camera. All right. So we've done a couple of repetitions. We've broken it down. Let's uh, see how that feels. So if we've done that movement slowly and carefully, you should be feeling quite a bit more comfortable through the back of the body, back of the shoulders, arms, and even down into the lower body as well. If you like that movement, you'll probably enjoy that one there and also that one there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.